All praises, family. Here we are one more time uh, in school. Okay, but the Tanzanbe Yamazulu for all those things that he's doing for us in these end times, for all these revelations. All praises. Um, Yenge to the Bantu family, Yenge to the non Bantus, everyone that follows this channel and learns a lot of things. Yenge to all of y'all. Yingi, yingi, yingi. All praises. Yes. Um, yeah, at the moment, um, I'm breaking down the 12th trap of Isolele. You know, um, we cannot call uh, upon names like this. Um, Israel, we know that um, when we talk about Israel, we have also to have the complete definition uh, where the name comes from who the people are, where did they live, uh, how did they look like, where do they live today, um, what are their tradition, customs, uh, to whom did they pray, yeah, because um, the Muzungus, um, they used to show us different kinds of people, um, for example, people from the tribe of Issachar, they will tell us that uh, the tribe of Issachar are people from Asia, etc., etc. Then we have also different kinds of people calling themselves different kinds of Jewish names and um, saying that they are the true Israelites or that they have the true definitions where they lived and who they were and who they are and etc etc a lot of lies fictions but no evidence at all normally yesterday i wanted to upload the video about the people from kenya the tribe of isakar as well um the most of the people that lives in the eastern part of africa have something to do with isakar but today we have um kenyanites um Canaanites, they're also uh, called like this in the Bible, by the way. They're mixed. Mm -hmm. They are also Midianites. Uh, that's why you have also still today people from um, Ishmael inside them and uh, mixed, very mixed. These are the people that have sold Joseph um, um, to the Egyptians. Um, but the uh, movie about Kenya will come very soon. I'm still trying to upload it. Something is wrong with the video. I don't know what. <laughs> uh, something's going on with the video. I don't know why it doesn't want to upload. <laughs> Since yesterday night, normally yesterday night will be online already. Who the people from Kenya actually really are in the Bible. And um, at the moment, I just expose... Uh, the heritage um but if someone has a good ear and uh, does his uh, researches he will also find out which kinds of regions they lived but let us go because i just came from outside and i'm very busy always and uh, let me see how far i come because about tanzania there's so much things to say because there are also different kinds of tribes in Tanzania, because the Levites also passed there uh, in Tanzania. That's why you have also the Levites passing all over these ways, up passing the Lemba, Southern Africa. So you will find Levites in many tribes. Um, but Tan people from Tanzania, they are from Benjamin. Some, some of them are from Benjamin. And... Um, but more Issachar. Issachar. Let us see what the Bible say. It's like uh, the people from Kenya. It's like the people from um, um, Burundi, etc., etc. So this, 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 this East. Many of them comes from Zebulun as well. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see. If Masa is crazy or if it is really like that. Um, I think I will start sharing the screen. Um,
here we are. Okay. This is the thing that I'm trying to upload the video about Kenya. Israelite in East Africa, but it's not working properly. I don't know. Something is not right. Let me close some things so that things work better. Okay, very good. All good. Now, Kenya. Yeah, we in Tanzania. Tanzania. Okay, what do we know about Tanzania? So, Tanzania. The East African country of Tanzania is known its natural wealth. These include the plains of the Serengeti National Park, which is home to the so-called Big Five elephant, lion, leopards, buffalo, rhinoceros. And safaris are offered, as well as Kilimanjaro National Park with African highest mountains of the coast are the tropical islands such as the Arab influence Zanzibar, a mafia which includes a marine park with wall sharks and coral reefs. Wow. So it sounds very nice. Um, Tanzania is very blessed, as you can see. Um, all these um, animals that we can see here, we can find them in the Bible. Yeah, this shows us where the Israel lived. You will also always find these animals, mountains, valleys, and different kinds of brooks and springs. So this shows us that we are looking at the right place. Now, what do we have to know about Tanzania? Let's see. So is there something that is important? Maybe the languages, history is not so important. Geography. So that's good. Um, at 947 and 303,000 square kilometers, uh, Tanzania is the 13th largest country in Africa and the first 31 largest in the world, ranked between the larger Egypt and the smaller Nigeria. It borders Kenya and Uganda to the north, Rwanda, Burundi, and the Democratic Republic of Congo in the west, and Zambia, Malawi, and Mozambique to the south. Tanzania is located on the eastern coast of Africa and has an Indian Ocean coastline approximately 1,424 kilometers. So um, it also incorporates several offshore islands, including Nguja, Zanzibar, Pemba, and Mafia. The country is the site of Africa's highest, lowest points, Mount Kilimanjaro. Yeah, so it has very, very big mountains above sea level and the floor of Lake Tanganyika, etc., etc. We're gonna hear something about the mount, the mountains as well in the in the Bible. That's why I just showed you. Yeah, you, know, you can also do your own researches. So they have also wildlife, where you find different kinds of of animals that are also in scripture. Very, very important. Huh? Those animals, you can't find them in the Middle East. You won't find them in America. You won't find these animals in uh, uh, in the Asia. Yeah? So I think we are on the right place. Um, is there something about languages? Uh, Okay, 
no problem. We're going to pass. Let us go to the scriptures to start. Tanzania mm, comes from the Hebrew word Yazania. When we remember, Tanzania is also called Azania. Mm, in the uh, yeah, it was also called Azania for a while. <clears throat> you see, this is Panda, where is it now? Oh, it's here. Azania, Azania. Let's check Azania. Um, it is. Azania is the name for various sub-Saharan African areas. It was first used at the time of the Roman Empire as the name for the coast of the east south of Cap Guadafui in Somalia up to the present Tanzania. As such, it became a part of the country named Tanzania, composed of Tanganyika, Zanzibar and Azania. Today, the term is mostly used by black nationalists, which means the people that used to call the right name of Tanzania, it was Azania. When the colonial people, the Romans came, as you can see, the Roman Empire came there. Yeah, the Roman Empire. Um, they start to give in African countries always on and on new names, like Angola became Angola, etc., etc. Okay, they used to change people's names. Yeah, like in the scripture, there's always a small change, and then everything becomes different. Yeah, but it is it stays the small the, the same thing. You know, so it's called normally Azania. Okay, okay. Now, this is how it also called in Hebrew Yazania. Or Yazazan Ya, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so for Yazan Ya Yahu, yeah, which means that Tanzambi has years, yeah, and um, Tanzania, whose grandson of Abaziana, whose name corresponds to Abizana. So today, when, when you see that uh, they have called Abizana, the area there, the east, east coast of um, the east coast of uh, Africa, their Somalia region, they called it Abizana. It's also in the Bible. Okay, so this is the kingdom Abizania. Yeah, this is the empire of Abizana. This is all this was the empire of Abizana. You see Kenya, you see uh, Ethiopia, and all this. This is what they used to call the, 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 the crisis or Abizana's crisis, or yeah. yeah. Here you can see it here. Abizana, here. This is, was a great empire there. <clears throat> hmm? Somali, Eritrea, Ethiopia. Yeah. So and Tanzania. Yeah. Tanzania. Yeah. Is the grandson of Abizana. So he's the grandson of in the Bible Habasinia. Habasinia. Yeah, who corresponds to Abizana. Okay, do your researches. I cannot show everything in the scripture. So if we go to Jeremiah um, 35 and 3, Jeremiah 35 and 3, it can be that I have put it already here somewhere. So Jeremiah 35 and 3, here it is. Then you see, therefore, that says that on zombie of hosts, be always careful with the law with the name Lord. We know that the name Lord came with the Romans and the Greeks because if you watch their movies, you can see how they used to call their lords. Huh? 
Yeah, this is how they give our creator the name of Lord. It doesn't make any sense. Because a Lord can't be of hosts. A Lord can only be of flesh. But not of hosts. Okay? So it's Tatan Zambi, the king of spirits. Huh? That the most of the Christian hates so much. Tatan Zambi is the king of all spirits. We are all a spirit. Everything was created. The spirit was first and then it created, it manifested. That's why we call him Tatan Zambi, the king of kings, the king of all spirits. And not the lord of hosts. Uh, but uh, we will finish Christianity and this Jewish metaphors and lies and all these kinds of crap. So the Zambi of Israel, Uronadab and the sons of Rehab shall never lack a man to stand before me. Okay, that's very important. Very, very important. So now, let us go to, let me give you the um, understanding of this. Now, in Jeremiah 35 and 3, in Jeremiah 35 and 3, we're going to see how blessed Tanzania is. So now, so it took Tanzania, yeah, Tanzania, the sons of Jeremiah, Sons of Abizana, yeah, what you seen there as Abizana, what I have shown you here in the map. So this is where the Tanzania came from, from Jeremiah and from Abizana, yeah, from this uh, eastern coast. Um, where it is? Um, where's the Bible? Yes, and his brother and all his sons and the whole house of the Rehabites. Yeah, the Rehabites. So they are the Rehabites. Okay, people from Tanzania, they come from Abyssana and they come from Jeremiah. Okay, this is their family tribe. This is where they used to come from. And they came from the house of the Rehabites. Okay. And I'm not using even the strong now. I'm just... Later I will use the strong. Go to the house of the Rehabites and speak with them. Bring them into the house of Tatanzambi, into one of the chambers. Then offer them wine to drink. So it took Tanzania, the son of Jeremiah, the son of Abizana, and his brother and all his sons, and the whole house of the Rehabites. Then I set before the Rehabites pitchers full of wine, cups, and I said to them, drink wine. So they used to come from this tribe. And who are the Rehabites? But those to the house of the Rehabites, Jeremiah said, Thus said the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, because you have obeyed the commandment of Ronab, Ronadab, your father, and kept all his precepts and done all his commandments. We are coming to this story very soon. Um, we are coming to this uh, story very soon. Then it will answer also the questions who the Rehabites and the people from Tanzania, etc., etc., are. Let me read the story for you. So, I brought them into the house of Tatanzambi, into the chamber of the sons of Hanan, the sons of Igdaliah, a man of Yah, which was near the chamber of the officials about the chamber of Masaya, the son of Shalom, keeper in the threshold. Then I set before the Rehabites, pitchers full of wine and cups, and I said to them, drink wine. But they answered, we will not drink wine. For Ronadab, the son of Rehab, our father commanded us, 
You shall not drink wine, neither you nor your sons forever. You shall not build a house, you shall not sow seed, you shall not plant or have a vineyard, before you shall live in the tents all your days, that you may live many days in the land where you surround. We have obeyed the voice of Ronadadab, the son of Rehab, our father, in all that he commanded us to drink no wine all our days, ourselves, our wives, our sons, and our daughters, and not to build houses to dwell in. We have no vineyards or field or seed, but we have lived in tents and have obeyed and done all that Yonadab, our father, commanded us. But when Nebuchadnezzar the king came up against the land, yeah, so because this was uh, um, in this area from, 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 from um, Somali down there, all this Abizana up to Arabia, this was Nebuchadnezzar kingdom, eh? the Babylonian kingdom. He took over Esther 8 and 9. You can read it. All these people yeah, that went to the... Uh, Zanzibar, all these people that went to the eastern part, uh, the, the, the first slavery of the Muslims, they're Israelites. Yeah? They're Israelites. So, okay, very good. What happened? Nebuchadnezzar the king came up against the land. We said, come and let us go to Jerusalem for fear uh, of the army of the Chaldeans and the army of the Syrians. So we are living in Jerusalem. Then the word of Tatanzambi came to Jeremiah. That said to Tatanzambi of hosts, God of Israel, go and say to the people of Judah, inhabitants of Jerusalem, will you not receive instructions and listen to my words, declares Tatanzambi. The command that Yonadab, the son of Rehab, gave to his sons to drink no wine has been kept, and they drink no none to this day. For they have obeyed their father's command. I have spoken to you persis, uh, persis, persistently, but you have not listened to me. I have sent to you all my servants, the prophets, sending them persistently, saying, Turn now every one of you from his evil way and amend your deeds and do not go after other gods to serve them. And then you shall dwell in the land that I gave to you and your fathers. But you did not incline in your ear or listen to me. The sons of Ronadab, the sons of Rehab, have kept the command and their fathers gave them. But this people has not obeyed me. Therefore, this Tatanzambi says, Tatanzambi says, the God of hosts... So, the God of Israel, behold, I am bringing up upon Judah and all the inhabitants of Jerusalem all the disaster that I have pronounced against them, because I have spoken to them and they have not listened. I have called to them and they have not answered. But to the house of the Rehabites, Jeremiah said, uh, Jeremiah, thus said Satan Zambi, the king of hosts, the God of Israel, because you have obeyed the commands. Of Ronadab, your father, and kept all his precepts and done all the commandments. Therefore, this says the Tanzambi of hosts, the God of Israel, Ronadab, the son of Rehab, shall never lack a man to stand before me. This is the prophecy that the Tanzambi gave um, the people that came from the Tanzania, Azania region, because this is like a blessing that you have given them. Today they do agriculture and today they are very far um, one of the countries that are coming in the next years that will be, uh, you know, one of the st strongest countries in Africa, Tanzania. Yeah. Here's the story of them. Yeah. Only because of alcohol, but because of that, there is a blessing that came after that. I'm coming... Oh my goodness, Masa has never time. I have so much things to say, but no time. And the day that the most I give me rest, I think uh, the things that I will put out there, I don't know. Okay, all good. 
maybe I have to make it part two. Um, all good. So we have Tanzania, right? So we now know that Tanzania is the grandson of Abizana, yeah? And um, so now we go to Haruka or the Harusha. Huh? Um, we will find it here, Arusha in Tanzania. This it's a city in Tanzania, okay? Arusha is a city in the northeastern Tanzania. And the capital of Arusha region, the city is named after the Maasai people living in the region. The city had more than 410,000 inhabitants in 2012, given to the population growth in the past few years and the uh, approximate. Hallelujah. So we have Arusha. Okay. Here you have some photos of Arusha. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe you wanted also some photos for Tanzania. Maybe there are some people that wants to visit Tanzania. <clears throat> this is how Tanzania looks like. Flag. Hmm? <clears throat> A lot of parks, waterways, mountains. Is here in the eastern part of uh, Africa. The Indian Ocean is here. <clears throat> Kenya is above, Mozambique is down there, Zambia is there, not far away from Uganda, Rwanda, and Burundi. And that what we are doing now is to find out who are those people that have the palm trees in their hands. Who are the people from Tanzania? Hmm. Who are they in Geta? All places. Uh, we have also a lot of uh, African Americans, and I hate it to call people from America African Americans. For for me, there is no America in them at all. We have to get rid of our slave names and slave mentality and slave roots. So we are brothers and they are for me Africans and even the name Africa must have another term in the future. Now, um, this is Tanzania. So we are in Harusha, right? Harusha or Arusha. So why Harusha? This was my last teaching. So, comes from the Hebrew words harsha, harsha. Yeah? If you go to the Blue Letter Bible, you will find it as well. Yeah? Uh, this was a dump Israelites who returns to with Zerubbabel. Let's go to Nehemiah. Nekamiya fulu muka, wiza watu sadisa. Nekamiya fulu muka. Nekamiya fulu muka, wiza watu sadisa. Nekamiya fulu muka, alambe, waize, wazamba deto, waize, kintinwe, a kintino keto. It's nice to be a Congo. Eh? So what was it? Nekamiya ne 7? Is it this one? Nekamiya 7. So the sons of Baslit, the sons of Media, and the sons of Arusha. Here they are. Arusha. Very good. Arusha is found in the Bible. So it was the Israelites who returned from Zerubbabel. Okay. And this is why they gave it the name Arusha, the city. 
Huh? But now let us pass directly to Dar es Salaam. Because here I have a lot of things to say when it comes to the next uh, cities. Dar es Salaam. How does it sound? It is a name, that, a Hebrew name that uh, is taken from Dar and Salem. Salem is always Jerusalem. And Dar is you know, putting together from Dar and Salem. And that's why they call it Dar es Salam. Okay. And it, the meaning of it is weapon smaller than a spear. Weapon smaller than a spear. You can read it in Job 41. 21 to 23, 1 Samuel 17, 6 to 8. There you can see um, this, the warrior spirit in this verse from Dar es Salem. Salem, land of rest like Jerusalem. Yeah? Salem is the land of rest like Jerusalem. Okay. Now, we're going to go to Tabora. Let us jump to Tabora. Dar es Salaam, here it is. Dar es Salaam, important city and trading port on the coast of the Indian Ocean in Tanzania, was once just a fishing village. The village museum um, we create the traditional homes of local and other Tanzanian tribes and host tribal dances. It belongs to the National Museum, which presents exhibits about the history of Tanzania, including the fossils of human ancestors found by the anthropologist Louis Leakley. Very good. Very good. Um, Bites. Okay, we are coming to this very soon. We are, we are here already. We are now in Tabor or Tabora. Tabora is also in Tanzania. is a city in Tanzania and has about uh, 160,608 inhabitants. It is located at an altitude of 1,244 meters, around 11, uh, 1,140 kilometers from the port of city Dar es Salaam in the islands of Tanzania. In the 19th century, Tabora was the central trading center in East Africa, carbon trade. So Tabora is very important for us. Yeah, First of all, it is located in the mountain. And now you're going to also uh, see why it is so important for us. So this is Tabora. This is where it is located in Tanzania. This is Tanzania, right? <clears throat> okay. Here is Tabora and Dar es Salaam is here. Uh, directly on the uh, Indian Ocean. And Tabora is a little bit more inside, right? So now, all good? Give me the information of Tabora. Comes from a Hebrew word, Tabor. Hmm? Tabor. So, means land mountain of Issachar and Zebulon. Okay? Mountain of Issachar and Zebulon. We can check this. First of all, let us see one verse. <clears throat> good the boundary also touches tabor here it is shazuma and bet shemesh and its boundary ends in the jordan 16 cities with their villages 
This is the inheritance of the tribe of the people of Issachar. According to their clans, the cities with their villages. Okay, if you go to the strong Bible, which I have will use only now, and I put Tabor, right? Should I use the other one? Tabor. It is. And the coast reaches Tabor. So here's the verses. Here you can see everything about Tabor. Hmm? Who he is. You know? And who he was before they give the name into that city. <clears throat> um, here you can also see other verses. As I live, says the king, whose name is the Tanzambi of hosts, surely as Tabor is among the mountains, and as the Carmel by the sea, so shall he come. You see, so the city is on the mountains. Yeah. And uh, it's Tabor, Tanzania. Yeah. People from Tanzania. They have also different kinds of tribes there. Huh? And uh, here again, hear ye this, O priests, and hearken ye house of Isolale, and give ye a ear of a house of the king, for the judgment is toward you, because ye have been a snare on Mizpah, and ye net spread upon Tabor. You see, so the African countries are very well mentioned in the Bible. You know? <clears throat> what the? Hallo, ich bin am Predigen, ja? Ich bin am Predigen, danke. Tatanzami, give me more disciples, eh? It's hard. So, um, so, Please check it on the Strong's. This is a blue letter Bible. You can type different kinds of names there and you will find different kinds of definitions of different kinds of cities and tribes, etc., etc. in Hebrew. And you will see that the similarities, they are so, the most of the things are so similar that you will always find the references, who the people are in the Bible. And if you go to the genealogy, yeah, of those people, you will always see that we as a people, as the people that we call African people and African Americans, Latin Americans, Southern, uh, Southern Americans, all the people that are scattered in the four corners of the earth, the earth, we will always find our genealogy, our ancestors in the scriptures. This is how you can finish everyone off. And we came from the same borders, Kachopia. We came from this person, King Congo. When they talk about Jerusalem, they talk about Congo. Sair, they talk about there, the, the children of Beor, Beula, okay? Just to tell you different kinds of things. I can go here to maps. They didn't go to, to the Asia. No, 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 no. When they fight Ashur, it's, East, it's, 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 uh, it's North Africa. Ashur is North Africa. Maroc and all these kinds of people, Okay. <laughs> Very good. It's nice, you know. If you know, you know, you know. If you know, you know. Let me go here. I will find some turn. Okay. I did. Yeah, so one of the old maps. Here in this map, this is uh, um, West Africa. Here is the border. Here you find Mani Congo, which is also in the Bible. The children of the many, the children of the many, Mani, many, Congo. Here they call it already in this time, Angolia. Then you have here <clears throat> a great lake, yeah, with where the arms comes out today, Fleuve Congo. Then, very nice, 
Zaire. 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 In guitar. Let's go to the Lexonic uh, of Tabor. Here you have its strong uh, age eight three nine six. Dictionary uh, primary. Uh, yeah, here dictionary. You can go to dictionary, and you have your tabor. Yeah, right. And then you go tabor and mount. Put this one here. Tabor. This mountain seems to be named on the border of Issachar. It is. I know this is very small for, especially for the elder people. Maybe I do it like this. So, because I have very good eyes. Here you see Tabor. So it is possibly identical with the mountains to which Zebulun and Issachar were to call the people. Deuteronomy 33 and 19. Standing on the boundary between the tribes, they would claim equal rights in the sanctuary on the top. The passage seems to indicate that it was a place of pilgrimage. The worshippers bringing with them the abundance of the sea and the treasurers of the, the sand would be source of profit to local authorities. The mountain can be on other than Jebel at Tour, an isolated and shapely height rising at the northeast corner of the plain of Esjalon, about five miles west from Nazareth. The mountain has retained its sacred character and is still a place, privilege only, the writs being changed. Yeah? The present writer has mingled with the great interest among the crowd that assembled there from all parts and feasts of the transfiguration. Now, it was on the summit on slopes of these mountains that Deborah and Barak gathered their forces and hence they wept down to the battle with Sisera and the great plain. Judges 4 and 6, 12 to 14. Here be probably the brothers of Gideon were murderers by Zebra and Zalmunna. Judges 8 and 18. More, 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 more. So if someone comes and tells me, oh, it happened in Asia, or someone calls himself, I am the tribe of Issachar, and puts some weird photos about Issachar on his YouTube channel, yeah. He has first to know uh, from which, from where in from where in Africa does that really come from? Issachar, they are not Chinese. Issachar are not whites. Okay. But anyway, um, we know that not everyone is uh, is born smart. This is how we're going to cut the thief with his own weapon. This is how you can go with all the scriptures that I have sent you there. You put it on the strong. You go to dictionary. You read the stories about the, 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 the Kenyanites, about the people from Burundi, about the people from Rwanda, about the people from Tanzania, because we are now in East Africa, I'm concentrating myself to East Africa. Then I'm going to the, let's see, maybe to the southern part, western part, uh, west, uh, northwest part, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I will even break down who the enemies were, Babylonians, and all those kinds of things, when the Most High wants. So let me do fast because you know, 
Um, you can read all this, all this here. The Arabs from Damascus plundered the mon monasteries and mur murdered the monks, and usually attacks made by Saladin and the little. So the whole story, the whole story, yeah, of the eastern borders of Africa in Tanzania is here. Okay. The whole story. Yeah. Why people have done us a big favor by writing so many and many things down. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Here you will find a lot of things. Yeah. In Geta. Now, let us continue. I think uh, the smart of, one of us will do the researches. So we passed all this. So, um, this mountains, this places, this was in a city given to the Levites, okay? A city was given to the Levites. We, the Benamunt, we passed uh, uh, Zanzibar, we passed uh, the Zimbabwe, we passed, uh, um, you know, Rwanda, you know, some left, some keep walking until we made one round passing uh, Southern Africa, passing Botswana, until we reach the Congo. That's why we are called the Congo. And Congo in this time went to slavery and some of the people came back. And sometimes the other tribes, we were, we was a war. Sometimes the southern part and the the the, the, the northern part they, they 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 had war with each other. Everything happened in Africa. Look at how they what kind of clothing they wear: leopard clothing, leopard hats, and war over war. Did you even read before you go to the New Testament? Did you ever read the Old Testament and the wars between the tribes? Did you ever do that? Oh, good. So, so the Levites passed there. Hmm? So, um, let's hope that Tanzania will send us uh, prophets from Tanzania that will help us uh, in our mission. Now, Mpanda, yeah, Mpanda, Mpanda comes from the word Padan, from the Hebrew word Padan. Uh, ransom redemption. This is what it means. Ransom redemption. And uh, if we look at it, we were gonna find it as well. Uh, mpanda. Mpanda. Let's see. Here it is. Uh, Panda. Panda is a city in the East African state of Tanzania. It is the capital of the Katabi region in the west of the country of on the Lake Tanganyika, created in 2012 by dividing the Hukwa region. Panda. Oh, good. Let us first read this one here about the. Uh, <clears throat> so here, okay, so to the ghetto homits according to the clans were allotted 13 cities out of the tribes of Issachar, Asha, Naphtali, and Manasseh in Bashan. So, um, which means that the, this, these are the tribes that passed in this uh, time there in the region of, um, what is this called the city again? Tabor, 
Tabor. Okay. Yeah, it's also count, uh, called Mount Issachar and Zebulon, where some of the Levites also passed, passed there. Now for Panda, let's see if there is a verse, because I don't know if there is a verse from Panda. This means um uh, Nikamiya, come up, come fast to help us, you know, to help us with our problems. Wait, I have to say to mom to sing this. Oh, I have to say to mom, I heard her. Mama. Ne <laughs> Now, uh, yeah, yeah, this is the verse that I have shown. The boundary also touches Tabor. Here it is. Hmm? Um, Shah Zuma and Bet Samesh, and its boundary ends at the Jordan, 16 cities, their villages. And here it is. This is the inheritance of the tribe of the people of Issachar, according to the clans, the cities with their villages. That's it for today. Um, thank you very much. <laughs> I love it. Uh, I love our Ski Congo songs. Um, this is how I grew up. Huh? I grew up uh, uh, to see the Malikis. And um, I hope one day everyone will see and feel the power of our ancestors to see that the true, the true us out know, there. There's even a verse. There are some verses, because I will go back to this ancestor thing a little bit later. First, let us uh, learn a little bit more about um, where we come from. Thank you very much. I will leave this here. I hope you have understood who the people from Tanzania are. Oh, yeah, Mama knows how to sing. Huh? And she, she sings and sings and sings. She becomes strong and strong. Oh, my goodness. All good. So now... um. People from Tanzania, wake up. You are biblical Israelites, Benjamites, people from Issachar, Zebulon. Um, I hope some Levites left there. Uh, your mountains are holy. You are blessed. Yeah. And I hope the video from the Kenyanites will be also uploaded very soon. And uh, they're also from Issachar and the Midianites. The Midianites. You can Google who the Midianites are. And um, please do your researches. And um, you will never be fooled. <laughs>